Welcome back from that. Thank you so much, Dr. James Komalafe, for those very important mental health tips. Now, we are still in the medical sector talking about something very important. Recently, a young lady, Miss Greatness Olu, Olurun Femi, Olurun Femi um, was pushed out of a moving vehicle shortly uh, before she died. But what was controversial about that information was that when she was taken to uh, the hospital, that's the Meitama General Hospital here in Abuja, she was not given care and was rather asked for a police report. That has elicited uh, several con um, in, in, interesting conversations about our emergency medical uh, services across Nigeria. And that's what we'll be discussing today and talking about what the government and what citizens uh, expect of our hospital and our health uh, sector uh, when it comes to emergency response and uh, to discuss that is our own um, Dr. Douglas Oko. He's a brain surgeon. He's so much more and an advocate for let the patients how do you, how do you target? The Nigerian patients patient, are worth it. Yes, the Nigerian patients are <laughs> worth it. He is, he, he, he is a, a wonderful person when it comes to advocacy for medical services uh, that uh, the Nigerian patients indeed deserve. Dr. Douglas Oko, thank you again for being part of the program. Always a pleasure, Joy. Always a pleasure. Right. Were you surprised when that in that uh, uh, conversation started? You, that video went viral of uh, Miss Goodness, who was refused medical services. Okay, so uh, Joy, we all know that we've talked for a very long time that we have a very poor healthcare system. Mm? We have a very weak, weak healthcare system. So now and again, you will have situations like this and episodes like this happening that are thrown up in the social media and stuff and we are all discussing about it. It will happen now and again. You're going to have something like happen again. Okay? So was that surprised? No, absolutely not. Well, the federal government and the FCT has begun the implementation of what they tag as uh, medical services and ambulance uh, system. However, mm. do you think it addresses uh, the, the, the crux of the issue where a, a victim of any kind of of uh, of, of problem uh, comes to a hospital and I in spite of the act that ensures that you treat first ask questions later mm. uh, hospitals uh, often would ask for a police report do you think this would um, help in in ensuring uh, medical uh, uh, organizations or, or or hospitals rather follow that that act okay so let's start let's create the sustainable development goals healthcare is number three it's really really important in nigeria healthcare has not been important for a very very long time right. okay now healthcare as a system has six components okay but i'm going to talk about one one is health service delivery okay in health service delivery you break it down into primary healthcare secondary healthcare and tertiary healthcare now there's what the, the emergency medical services as well okay which is so much should be integrated to the secondary and tertiary health healthcare. Okay, so let's look at Abuja for example. This particular case that we talked about happened in Abuja here. Now, Abuja is the federal capital territory of the biggest black nation in the world, almost 215 million people. So, if for example, you talked about the, the FCT, for example, and the federal government talking about beginning hmm, this NEMSAS, hmm, the Nigerian mm. Emergency mm. Medical Services mm. and Ambulance System. Okay, they talk about beginning it. Okay. I'm a consultant neurosurgeon in Federal Medical Center here in Abuja. So I, I know a little bit about what's happening in healthcare in Abuja. I've not seen any real appreciable system of emergency medical services in the Abuja. But here, when you look at those articles, some articles, for example, from the federal uh, uh, February, March last year, 2022, and October last year, you talk, you see this thing about, oh, they began. They began. Okay, they began, but I can't actually see anything on the ground. Was it that maybe because uh, towards the end of last year, it was more politicking and stuff like that, and then not normally they dropped mm. all the issues of trying to actually push this through? Okay, I, I don't know. Okay, key thing is this, okay? The, the, that name is there. They've talked about, oh, doing pilots, mm. okay? Um, they talk about doing a dry run of simulations and uh, talking about oh trying to actually um, improve on that push it make pilot that in abuja and hopefully it works very well and then you can now take that to the rest of the 36 um, states where are they like i said i'm not i don't know 
John, have you seen any ambulances, any sort of service that you can see and say, oh, this is, uh, we trust this as well? Do Nigerians, are, are Nigerians or, or FCT residents even aware that we have begun this? And what is that toll number you can call? Okay, so I, I know there's a 112 number. Uh, that's that's, that's, number. that's the, FIR, uh, F, uh, the Federal Road when Safety when work Emergency. Stuff like that, okay? So, key thing is this, okay? Like I said, Federal uh, Capital Territory, mm. biggest black nation in the world. Very respect, should be respected in Africa. So that's the capital, and you say you want to pilot this, you should be able to do it well. Okay, right. I always talk about this thing of unserious, us looking unserious. Okay, so what do we actually really need? Okay, mm. yeah, you talked about that at the compulsory. Um, the compulsory treatment act. yes I, I just want to i just i just want to quickly read out um uh, some of those very important important aspect of that act yes. I, I might not go in depth into all of it but i'll just quickly go through it it says um, any hospital in nigeria whether public or private shall receive and accept for immediate treatment anyone with gunshot wound a person with a gunshot wound should be given adequate treatment without initial monetary deposit. A person with a gunshot wound shall not be subjected to inhuman and degrading uh, treatment or torture by any person or authority, including the police or other security agencies. Uh, here he's talking about the right of a volunteer or helper of victims of gunshot. Mm. The act accorded uh, volunteers or helpers of gunshot victims the right to be treated with respect and not to be subjected to unnecessary and embarrassing.